What do you do when a radio DJ wants a makeover? That's easy. Put a new spin on her style. <laughs> Aren't you clever? <laughs> Crystal is going to be the featured DJ at a big launch party and needs to define her look as a performer. Her no-fuss fashion sense doesn't reflect her standout music style. So Diva on a Dime takes a trip to her home to lend a helping hand. Do you ever notice that the radio DJs that have their own distinct style tend to be more successful? Yeah, it's called the power of marketing. <laughs> it's not enough just to be a voice on the radio nowadays. 100%. It's all about selling a personality. I think with Crystal, we have to do something that is, sort of makes a statement, something that grabs attention. Something fun, fierce, and fresh. Exactly. I'm gonna take her shopping where a professional stylist take their friendly clients. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's the thrift store. <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, good. Perfect. Hey, baby. Hi. You have some company. Hi, I'm Laha. Great to meet you. I'm Julia. Nice to meet you, Nice too. to meet you, Crystal. So, Craig, tell us a little bit about our diva here. Well, Crystal or Cristal, as she <laughs> likes to say it. Totally diva. Um, she's a DJ and she's getting ready for her big night uh, tonight and um, I'm DJing for her, opening for her for a change and it's great and she's excited to go shopping with you guys. Describe her DJ style. That's the whole beauty of it. You can't put a finger on it and describe it, which is what makes it unique and stand out from everything else. Well, then we can go home. Thanks so much. Yeah, okay, see ya. Thanks for going out. Crystal, what do you think we can do to help? Well, I think if you just concentrate on what's on the inside and bring that out on the outside, I think we'll be just fine. Perfect. So, that doesn't sound hard. Let me okay. practice my DJ culture. We should go to your closet and sample your wardrobe, and oh. hopefully we can remix it into a successful outfit. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Nice. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Don't bother spinning. Let's go to the closet. Okay. Now it's the Smart. real test of uh, the closet. I'm gonna go through this one by one, and you tell me, is this something you'd wear as a DJ? Um, before and after I would DJ, but totally, yes. You know what, there's nothing wrong with this. I think street style's the way to go. You got that hip urban edge, but we need something bling, something that just says rock star. This is pretty unique, this patchwork. What do you think, do you wear it? I love it. It's the only problem is that it's somewhat of a remorse buy because I don't get to wear it when I really want to. Is there a way to remix this in your wardrobe? Only if I wear black with it. Why only black? <laughs> I just can't seem to match it with other outfits. Oh no, so you can away. mix that up, girl. You can wear that with lots of stuff. It's a great jacket. As far as a remorse it. buy goes, that's not the worst remorse buy we've ever no. seen. You're not at a shortage for color. This is a fantastic shirt. It's very sporty, though, I'm seeing from your wardrobe. I did play soccer for 10 years, so I tend to gravitate towards the athletic outfits. So basically, <laughs> comfort's important when DJing. You're on your feet and you probably sweat a bit in the clubs, but we need something that stands out, makes you look almost famous. Well, I do have an inspiration look for you. Crystal, you ready? Da 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 da! Great. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this great? This is our inspiration look for you. Right. This is from the DG collection, which is designed by Dolce Gabbana. It's a beautiful, beautiful look that we think is actually very wearable and fabulous for what you need to do with. This top is 100% Egyptian cotton. It has the flag on it, but it's really the color that we like a lot. Sort of the red, the blue, and the white. The color together is so nice. The pants are a cotton lycra blend. 
They are a nice low rise pant and they've got these wonderful belt loops. The running shoes here, the sneakers, this is sort of our favorite part of the whole look. It gives you that really comfort look, that sport look that you could actually bring into a nighttime look. Now the sash here, I think is the complete pinnacle of the whole look. It just gives it that one step up. It gives it that edge look to it. This sash retails for $215. This top retails for $315. These pants retail for $550. These sneakers retail for $310. So this entire look from the DNG collection would cost $1,390. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we're not gonna spend that much money. But what we are going to do is give you an individual look, a very streetwear, professional look. And this is our inspiration. All then. right. Now to do it, we might need some of your help. Yes. This sash would probably cost $216 if we were looking for raw silk. So do you have anything, a material or a fabric we might be able to turn into such a feminine accent? I do actually. I have lots of fabrics. I have this great material. Oh, that's fantastic. That's perfect. Perfect. I'm so this. soft. When we return, Julie and Crystal get their thrills and thrift. And we're off. Crystal is a DJ that will be performing at a launch party for a radio station. She's seeking a new fashion attitude that will go easy on her account. Diva on a Dime wanted to give her an alternative edgy look, so her inspiration came from the funky DNG collection. It retails for a mere $1,390. To pull this outfit off, we first hit the city's thrift hotspots. <laughs> We put you in sort of a, a t-shirt look. We need to do a bit more to it. So by getting to a thrift store, we're gonna be able to get the t-shirts for next to nothing. Then we're gonna cut them all up and make them very crystal TJ. It's gonna be <laughs> great. It's, uh, it's a, just such a great look to be able to get a one-of-a-kind look that nobody else has, mm -hmm. but you're able to get it on a, on a, on a budget. I have lots of t-shirts in my closet. Well, uh, that's the best thing about t-shirts. Everybody's got tons of t-shirts in their closet that they don't wear. The bigger the t-shirt, the better. Really? Yeah, Why? definitely. Well, because it's gonna give you more material. What I like to look for are great logos, things that are fun logos that would like look great. Something like that might look really good on the side of the arm. Mm -hmm. See how nicely finished it is? Mm -hmm. It'll give you a finished edge. You don't have to re-sew that. Mm -hmm. so you could use that at the top of the t-shirt now. So you'll have a finished neckline. Now, we wanna try to find something that's got, I think that sort of red, blue, and white. I like the colors in this. Ooh, yeah. Stripes. Stripes. <laughs> and then this has sort of got the red, the white, the blue, the flag motif. I think we can work with this one for sure. I prefer to shop thrift when it's like this. When it's in a boutique like this, when it's been slightly organized for you, it's done a lot of the work for you. Dumpster diving is fun, but it takes a lot of time. Sailor pants. Have you worn pants like this before? No. These are great. I love these kind of pants. I can't believe the selection of these they have. See, this is the advantage of coming to a boutique because they will have a lot of these. To find these at, by the pound, it might take you a month to find a pair of sailor pants. The only problem is, Crystal, don't wear these with your full bladder because it'll take you forever to undo all these buttons. But this is great. These are a great thrift shop find. Okay, Crystal, let me see the pants. Oh, they look great. How'd you do with the buttons? Got them all up? Um, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how do you feel in them? Great. I really like them. We hem them up a little bit, and then I would like to add um, a belt loop to it so that we're able to put that sash with it. And then I think we can just sort of do a bit of work to it mm -hmm. so we get them nice and edgy. This is the other thing I love about these sailor pants is the lacing up here, which is so much fun because you can change this. Mm -hmm. You know, we can put a, a red lace in it. We can put a, you know, whatever you want to do to it, you know? <laughs> okay, let me take a picture of these pants for Maha. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> you like it? Yes. Okay, good. That's important. As long as you like it, that's important. All right, let's go. Now that we've spent a meager amount on thrift finds, we're off to give them a one-of-a-kind designer's touch. Wow, that looks great. 
we will get that to Maha so that he can see the detailing on the pants. I think it's important that he knows that when he's looking for your shoes. Great. You still like the pants? Yeah, very cool. Okay, good. So this is Peter, who is an artist. Uh, this is Crystal. Hi. Nice to meet you. And I was explaining to Crystal a little bit about what you do with your redesigning and things like that. Can you fill us in a little better? Uh, well, what I do is cut up old things and make them all new again. And piecing them together, it looks all patchworky. Do you work just with t-shirts? No, nope, sweatshirts, denim, uh, anything really. Like, how many shirts are involved in this? How long did this take to make? Well, this is about four shirts. You know, everyone has tons of t-shirts in their closet that they do not wear anymore, that you don't know what to do with. And basically, grab a pair of scissors, chop it all up, and now you can wear it again. We've got some t-shirts that we brought from Crystal's closet. What we would like you to do, Peter, is to come up with something, with combining some of uh, Crystal's old t-shirts plus the t-shirt that we bought, and make her a one-of-a-kind, incredible, this one um, I came up with is a bit more unique. It looks like you're actually wearing um, two tank tops. And we'll use the Union Jack one you have as the main body of the front and um, combine uh, it with the t-shirts you already have. That looks really cool. Do you like it? Very much so. Well, it'll be great because they'll never be two the same because it's your t-shirts plus this one and it's an original design. Absolutely. All right, we'll let Thank these artists get to work. Bye. <laughs> Coming up after the break, Crystal and I pound the streets to pursue the perfect pair of shoes. Crystal is an up-and-coming DJ who will be headlining at a radio station launch party. This will be her biggest professional public appearance in her career, so she needs to create an image with impact. D&G's streetwise design has tons of fashion cred, but comes at a huge cost. So Diva on a Dime is showing Crystal how to combine her closet rejects and thrift finds and turn them into one-of-a-kind designer pieces. With the clothes in the works and a picture of her new pants in hand, Maha takes Crystal out to find practical footwear with a funky edge. Even the highest end designer labels do running shoes. Mm -hmm. Chanel, Yoji Yamamoto, Gucci, they all have trainer looks. So if we don't want to go for a stiletto, it's mm. still a high-end look if we can find a running shoe with the right appeal. Hi, Maha. How Hi, are Maha. you? Great to see you. You too. This is Crystal. We've been looking around and we just wonder where do some of these ideas come from? Actually, it all comes from the customer. Essentially, season after season, we're looking at what the customer wants and the sales results, what's happening around us, all the major influences, and we just put those all together and build a collection based on fun, anything energetic, that really gives a young spirit and a young attitude. But to stay on point and within trends, do you guys go to fashion shows? Yeah, certainly. We go to trend shows, we go to fashion shows, we go to leather shows, we go to component shows. We're constantly traveling the world looking for new influences and new ideas. How do you actually build a shoe? We first look at the customer, we look at the past, and look at the seasons and what's happening in trends and all the things around us, whether it's the flowers in the garden or it's jewelry, accessories. And we do a study, um, we go to trade shows and we go to factories where we source materials. We build technical designs, then we'd go and work with the, in the factories and we basically build up the shoe with materials and soles and all these technical components and you know, after a lot of arduous work we come up with uh, some fashionable shoes. How's that feel? Oh, they're really comfortable. Funky color, definitely my style. And I love the silver accents. It's very clubby, very nighttime. I love these. I think the red stripe is really sporty. The mesh provides that air conditioning. <laughs> it's free fresh. And I think the silver is definitely a nightclub look. They'll see you coming a mile away. Definitely. Very cool. Very comfortable. Very pink. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Fluorescent day glow. Perfect for a nightclub. 
Thank you so much. I learned a lot today. Good, I'm glad. It's so good to see you. How about you? Oh, so much. Thanks. Good. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye. Now that we've taken care of the feet, we hit the street for a hip new hairstyle. Crystal, nice. you ready for a change? Yeah. If you want to be famous, you got to look famous. <laughs> right in here. Thank you. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Mama. Great to see you. Good to see you. This is my friend Crystal. Hi, he's long. Certainly is. What are my limits today? No limits. Go all the way with it. So I can surprise you? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. The long layers is the best way to get rid of lots of old, damaged hair, but still maintain your length. I can't wait till Craig sees me. She'll be able to apply this easily at home as it fades, so she'll be able to maintain her color. That's this, totally funky. Yeah. Doesn't this look like the head of a famous person? <laughs> Crystal, this is Doug. He's our makeup expert for Hi. today. How are you doing? Nice Very to meet nice you. to meet you. So for nighttime, we're going to be a little more dramatic, which means you can apply a little more makeup. And I'm using a really nice, soft, sort of a beigey, shall we say, crystal shimmer here. Ooh. Everybody's going to freak. Freaking's good. Freaking's good. Yeah, you be freaking yeah. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is a liquid lipstick. It's really convenient, but it's very sheer and very sexy, very in and very now. Do you recommend this for night? This is a nighttime <laughs> thing. Glitter is definitely a nighttime thing, but I think it looks great. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit too. And just ever so gently I'm gonna blend that into the gloss. And just one more little bit before you go to the ball. Okay, your dazzling nighttime look is ready. What do you think? Wow. I look like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what a difference. Look at how see and that's gonna draw attention to your neck. See the sparkling right in there? Isn't that nice? Thank you. Thank you so much, Doug. You're welcome. Don't move, because you don't want to miss Crystal's DJ style and debut and find out the final tally. Crystal is a DJ who feels like a star inside but needs the style to match. So a new fashion attitude is in order for an upcoming launch party she's headlining. We took an expensive D&G look and recreated it by using found shirts and shop thrifting. So Julia, do you think Crystal will like her new look? Oh, I hope so. I had a blast shopping with her. Reconstructing thrift is one of my all-time favorite activities. Oh, if only they'd make it an Olympic sport. Oh, I wish. Looks like. I can't wait to see it all put together. Crystal, are you ready? Yeah. Come on out. Come on down. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, look at you! Oh my, look at you, you DJ girl. How do you feel? I totally love it. It's fresh, it's new, it's totally durable, and the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Tell me what you did with this top. I know, isn't that a, just an absolute work of art? We went thrift shopping and we actually bought one t-shirt that cost us $4.99. The other two t-shirts we got from Crystal's Closet. And we took them to Peter, a designer, and he cut them all up and made this one fabulous top out of it. There's isn't it three shirts in there? Three it? shirts into this to create this one work of art. And now the sash, which, oh, I can't tell you how gorgeous that looks. That just adds the total feminine side to the whole look, I think. It's beautiful. Sash was her own. 
doesn't no. cost us anything. And then the pants. Let me see the pants from the front here. I love the buttons on these. They're just gorgeous. These we got from a thrift store, which cost us $39.99. <laughs> I love the shoes. How nightclub is this? They actually have mesh on the side, so it's breathable. She can sweat and dance the night away. And your hair! I love the red! It's so great! <laughs> yes. <laughs> And your makeup looks so nice. Are you used to wearing this much makeup? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel comfortable in it though? Because it really looks uh, like I looks feel cool. comfortable now. I feel like I've totally grown into my own skin. So, I mean, if makeup can do that, and if it helps me look the way I feel, and helps me look natural, then I'm very happy. Okay, so let me just recap the prices on this, okay? So the shirt cost us $4.99, and then we added some of the rhinestone studs, which were $3.99. The pants were $39.99, and the shoes were $59.99. So all together, that's $108.96. As opposed to the Inspiration Look, which was from the D&G collection, which was $1,390, we have now saved you $1,281.04. I don't even know what to say, but I can't wait till Craig sees me. Oh, great. We spun something up for you. Uh, um, yum. <laughs> wow, that's great. Uh, yeah. Yes. Aww. I feel like okay, I'm mom. cheating on my girlfriend now, <laughs> hugging this person. It's time to nice go. Time to go. Good luck. Have a great time. Bye, guys. Thank you. You're not supposed to get weepy on shows and stuff. You always watch him and go like, oh, she's crying, I wouldn't do that. And there you go. You, you look amazing. Thank you. I love you so much. Now You're we can great. ride off into the sunset. With her confidence reaching new heights and style to match, Krista was ready to take the stage. It was fantastic. It was totally worth it. I'm still shaking a bit. I feel empowered, and now that other people have helped me, given me strength now, I can go on and help other people. So I've been rejuvenated. And I, I'm, I feel pretty. <laughs> you know, Jules, Crystal looked fab. She had that whole, I'm so cool, I don't even know I'm cool look about her. <laughs> totally. I can see her career taking off. You know, there's something I never told you. I was once told I, too, had the face for radio. I can see that. 